Welcome back. Well, if you've been downtown recently, you may have noticed some new and unique sculptures around. Or maybe you saw your friend posting about them on social media. I know I have. I've seen all those you've just seen, right? Sculpture Milwaukee is an annual exhibition that brings world-class sculptures by international, national, and even regional artists to downtown Milwaukee. What a great idea, huh? The exhibit mm -hmm. spreads over a mile and a half, and this year it's even going into the third ward. Here with more information about this very unique exhibition is Mary Lou Canode. We're super excited to see you. Thanks for joining us. Good Thank morning. Thank you for having me. You know, I can't imagine a year where we need something like this more. Yes, it's been a, a really wacky for year, a year for us as well. And, and we recognize the fact that people are really struggling with some very, very difficult situations. Um, we had a lot of things bump us as well because we work with the team nationally and internationally to bring the works to the city. So we were waiting for, you know, the lockdown in the UK to um, release some works for us. So we've been very, very mindful of, um, you know, the, the impacts that, that, you know, installing work has downtown, but we really think that this year, maybe we really need a little bit of cheer. I agree. And I've walked through and seen a bunch of them up close. I know a lot of us have seen our friends posting about them, but let's kind of talk about a few of the things that are unique this year, because I think it's so timely, most of them. Yes, and, and I would just say that, um, you know, artists are really pretty great forecasters of the things that are really central to us that we maybe don't see in other outlets. Um, so when you have, for example, Thomas J. Price and Mary Ward talking about issues of voter suppression or about the history of the United States and the remnants of slavery, I think, um, you know, there's some really very um, mindful, some very pointed, but also some very, you know, big questions for us to examine. Um, but I would also say that this is the kind of questioning that uh, artists always provide for us and something that we're very interested in, in contemporary art in general. I'm glad we were just looking at the Apollo because I wanted to mention some specifics because the um, within the folds, for example, this is its international debut in Milwaukee, a powerful mm -hmm. new work, you say, by a British artist. Um, and, and this is just one example of the things that people will be able to see around town. Yes, yeah, so we have 19 artworks by 19 artists from O'Donnell Park on the east side to West 6th Street on the west side on Wisconsin Avenue and then into the third ward for the first time. And that's a really great partnership. It allows us to create a much uh, bigger platform for people to enjoy the downtown. You know, it, it seems like 1.5 miles is a long way to walk, but it's not. I would imagine you go to the Milwaukee Art Museum and you walk five miles every time you go visit. So it's really just fun to be outside. Sculpture Milwaukee has always been physically distanced, so you can take your friends and your family downtown, walk between the artworks, and really enjoy the glory of Milwaukee summer. It's true. You know, I think I've, I've walked past the, the tree from, from last year, and I know it's still mm -hmm. available to see the silver tree by Northwestern Mutual. And, and a lot of people will say, oh, is that is that a dead tree? It's like, no, 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 get up close and look at that. That is a beautiful sculpture, which we're seeing now. And that's still there. It is. So, you know, when when we were having some issues with artworks being, you know, shipping being shut down and galleries being shut down, we reached out to all of our lenders and artists and said, listen, can we either extend an artwork? Can you let us borrow something for a little bit longer than normal? So typically Sculpture Milwaukee is open June to October this year. We'll go into the spring with the things that you see today. The Roxy Payne is a really great example, though, of highlighting what's the changes happening downtown. So a year ago, the the campus at Northwestern Mutual, the grounds are growing, the plants are filling in. <clears throat> it's pretty amazing how the grounds have changed this year. So that's the great thing about having works up for longer than just a couple months. You really see how the landscape, the weather changes, snow on top of the Roxy Paint is really pretty beautiful. I'll say. True. Talk, if you would, about the blob <laughs> and the red solo cup in particular, because I think that's the thing that's so fun about this exhibit is how unique the works are. Yeah, so the Blob Monster is by artist Tony Tassett. You might have remembered his work. He did the uh, giant emojis in 2017, the mood sculpture. Um, and so Tony really is very engaged in pop culture. He loves American culture, but he also has a little sly critique of it as well. So the Blob Monster really makes me think of Scooby-Doo, a little bit wacky, a little bit playful. Yeah. <laughs> 
Um, but it's also about the idea of that, you know, we all have monsters. We're all afraid of some things. Sometimes they're very visible and sometimes they're pretty invisible. So in some ways, the blob monster is a bit of a release. You can laugh out loud and you can point to things that, you know, uh, sometimes we're afraid of things that we don't need to be afraid of. Um, but it's just really very playful. Um, and then the solo cup in the third ward is pretty cheerful. Now, of course, we place the piece in the third ward thinking, you know, you have all the festivals where people go past there um so now yeah. you know, the solo cup means something slightly different and that's what really is great about contemporary art or art in general you come back to it with your own experiences and you change every day your perception of the artwork might change every day too so the artist paula crown she's based in chicago thinks a lot about single-use plastic and the rising sort of crisis of plastic in our oceans for example and the fact that we ingest plastic too. So, but she also sees the solo cup as being a portrait of someone that every time we crush a cup like that and throw it down, we crush it based on our own hands, the size of our hands. So it's something about our, you know, us as a culture, but it's also about each of us uniquely and individually what we can do to maybe stop plastic getting into our um, water streams and our air. I love it. It so was so neat. great to talk to you. I'm so excited that we have this in our city and that it's outside and something that we need, I think, right now is a pick me up and a reason for people to get outside and tour our beautiful city safely. Absolutely. Thank you so much for your time today. I'm going to share information Thanks, now Mary Lou. so that people can experience Sculpture Milwaukee is free. It's open 24 hours a day, every day. It's outdoors. It's family friendly. Many of the works will stay through spring. So to learn more and plan your trip, visit SculptureMilwaukee.com. You're also going to find a full map there along with a list of all the artists.